Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I want to thank my colleagues on the committee for your patience as I work through my first assignment as committee chair and also want to commend Councilmember Katz for the introduction of this bill and all of the advocates that work to promote it and support it. Uh, there obviously is nothing more important in our community than our overall public health. And uh, we did have a robust conversation regarding the bill that uh, ended in adding two amendments, which I thought reasonably addressed the legitimate concerns raised by some of our local small businesses who felt that this would disproportionately impact uh, their ability to operate those establishments, and we agreed with those, concer with those concerns. And so the two amendments provided, uh, one was to specifically exempt balconies and uh, rooftop seating areas, which represent a very small number of restaurants in the county. And so those restaurants that do have those unique amenities would be exempted from this bill. And um, one of the reasons that we chose to go down this road isn't just because of the economic impact, which was uh, proven to us, but also uh, these are destination spots within restaurants. You typically don't have to pass through them to get to other seating areas, which would then minimize the impact of secondhand smoke on potential patrons, and people can choose uh, to go to those particular areas within restaurants, and those are important to overall nighttime economy. Uh, which is important as a whole to the county. Uh, we also provided an amendment to golf courses. Uh, there's obviously a unique nature in, in, in the overall operation of golf courses, and so we provided an amendment to um, provide some relief for those golf courses. But I think uh, this undeniably advances our overall public health in Montgomery County. It's a giant leap forward to ensuring that important cause, and I want to thank my colleagues for uh, their support of this bill and their 3-0 vote.